Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo Martinez and I was part of the team that developed the Pinecrest People Mover app. Now this application can be used for both mobile and web. However, for this demo, we will be using the web application. When the user launches the application, it directs them to the map view. On this map view, you will be able to see the different routes the trolley will follow. As you can see here, we have different colors. We have a light blue and an orange. An orange symbolizes the Palmetto Middle School route, while the light blue symbolizes the Palmetto High School route. You can also find small image of a bus which symbolizes the stops. The colors of the bus correlate to the different routes. As I stated, the orange matches with the Palmetto Middle School and the blue matches with the Palmetto High School. You can also find a small circle logo of the Pinecrest People Mover, Pinecrest People Mover. This symbolizes the trolley in its current locations. Each of these icons you see on the map is clickable and provides more information. So let's say, for example, we want to click on this logo. As we click it, you can see the trolley ID and its actual current location. That current location of the trolley is currently is will be updating as soon as it starts moving. However, during this demo, the trolley is not in service. If you want to click on a stop, an info window will show with some show information pertaining to that stop. But before we get into that, I'd like to cover first this near me button you see in the top left hand corner. Now, let's say for example you want to find what's the closest stop to your current location. And you want to know not just the stop, but the actual route. So here, for this demo, my current location is set to here. So when I go ahead and click on near me, let's say for example I want to find the palmetto middle north route. So I click on it. Now in order for this functionality to take place, you have to enable the access of this system to access your actual current location. So here, we would press allow. And as you can see, the red icon shows. And if you click on it, it will show you, hey, this is the closest location. So you know now that this is the closest location to you. Now, Let's say you want to get to that particular stop. You want to go ahead and click on this one. So you go ahead and you click on it. An info window is shown. In this window, it shows you the address of the stop, the route, the scheduled time, which would be 6.46 a.m., which is provided by the Village of Pinecrest, and the estimated time. The estimated time is the time it takes for the trolley to get to that particular stop. For this demo, we have set the trolley to be set here. Now you can't symbolize it because they're out of servers, but it was hard coded in to be able to show you the estimated time. So with the trolley being in this location, to get to here, it would take 24 seconds. For the trolley to get, let's say, to this stop, you would click it. Here it would take 2 minutes and 10 seconds. And again, you also have provided with more information such as the address, the route, and the schedule time. Now, let's say the user wants to gather more information on the Pinecrest People Mover. So they go ahead and they click on the More tab. Here, you can find an About Us button. When you click it, you'll be able to see a brief description of what, it, of what the Pinecrest People Mover is, a telephone number if you want to have more information, and a website where you can get more information pertaining to the Pinecrest People Mover. Now, you also want to know, you are new to this application, you want to know what are the service times or hours of operations for this bus. You can go ahead and see in the service times. So here, you'll be able to see the hours of operations for both the middle school and high school. Also with this application, you'll be able to report a problem, request a stop, and enter feedback. Here you'll be able to generate an email that will be sent to the administrator of the Pinecrest Village of Pinecrest, which will receive the information you provided. So for example, let's go ahead and enter some feedback. Here, we would type in the name, we can use admin, an email, for now, I will use 
this email. And I type in some feedback. And go ahead and press submit. You have a confirmation box. And as you can see, the emails are received. And you'll be able to see feedback from admin, which was the name, the email, and the feedback message. This app rocks. So now, let's say there's some occurrences in respect to the buses. Here, in this trolley alerts, you will be notified. You go ahead and you can click on the trolley alerts tab, and you're able to find any alerts that have been inserted by the system administrator for the village of Pinecrest. At this moment, there are no defined alerts, so everything is smooth sailing. As we see the map, we can see the, all the stops. Now, let's say you want to be able to see the stops in a list form. Well, you can do just that. All you have to do is go ahead and click on the routes tab. On this routes tab, you have the options of all the different routes. So let's go ahead and select the Palmetto High North route. And voila! You now see all the stops for this route. Now, if you go ahead and click on it, you'll be able to see the stop name, which is the address, the scheduled time, which is provided by the Village of Pinecrest, and the estimated time from the trolley to this current location. Up up top, you can save it as a favorite. However, in order to enable this functionality, you would have to log in. So far, all the functionalities explains a user would not have to be signed in. However, for this one, you would. So let's go ahead and go through the registration process. So you can either choose this or go back and go back to the more button. But for simplicity, we could go ahead and click it. And it takes you back to this view. So we'll go ahead and we'll register. For this email, we can type in the email hello at gmail.com. We'll make it a little bit more interesting. And the password would be world. The confirmation would have to match the password missing above. So you go ahead and press register. The registration has been successful. So not only has your information been saved, but you've actually been logged into the system. So now, if you go back to the routes, and you want to go ahead and select that stop again, now you will see that the you have to sign in functionality is no longer there. So let's go ahead and let's save this stop as a favor. You have been confirmed that your favor has been inserted into your list. So to verify this, we'll go ahead and select this favorites tab. And there it is. Let's say we want to add another stop. We have to go back, select a route. We'll go ahead and select the middle, middle south route, and save this as a favor. Now, when you go ahead and select it, you will now see the two stops. And these two stops, you will be provided with the address, the route, the stop ID, and the estimated time. This alert time shows you how long you would take for the email notification to receive. In this application, if you set an alert time for let's say five minutes, this means that whenever the trolley is within five minutes from reaching its final destination to reaching to the stop, it will send an email notification to whichever you provide, whichever you register with. At this moment, there is no alert set. But we could go ahead and change that and I'll show you how. So we'll go ahead and we'll click it. A window should open. You have an alert, add an alert time. You can also remove the stop or deactivate the alert. But just to let you to clarify, you can deactivate alert only when there's a time shown. So let's go ahead and add an alert. Here we have an options. We can set how long, but we'll just go ahead and select five minutes. You will select the done button and the alarm has been enabled. And here you can see now the alert time says five which means five minutes. Now, to show the delete functionality, let's go ahead and say we don't want to see this route anymore. We'll go ahead, click it, select the delete button, and now it is removed. You have to confirm it, 
and now it is removed. So another another functionality you may have is let's say you want to deactivate this alert time. You're tired of receiving emails. So let's go ahead, let's click it. You could deactivate alert. It would ask to confirm it. You press yes. As you can see, the alarm has been deactivated. So this covered pretty much our application and all the different functionality it offers. Please stay tuned for any more other updates and enjoy the app. Thank you.